As a result of the rapid advancement of artificial intelligence, it will soon give rise to a number of more general worries about the way we conduct our lives. The field of artificial intelligence AI is rapidly becoming into a game changer in the modern world. Artificial intelligence AI is already everywhere, from chatbots to self-driving cars to virtual assistants, and it promises amazing convenience as well as breakthroughs in technology. But as this highly advanced technology continues to advance, what does that mean for our future? Not very long ago, artificial intelligence was mostly found in the realm of science fiction. This has been proven to no longer be the case throughout the course of the past six months or so. AI has the ability to revolutionize entire industries as well as address difficult problems while also posing intriguing new questions. What level of openness do AI systems have? Are they unbiased and risk-free? Do they take precautions to protect our confidentiality? However, as a result of the rapid growth of AI and its incorporation into our everyday lives, there are also more profound and existential problems that we need to think about. In this video, we will discuss an approach that might be taken to the ethical implications of AI, a topic that is expected to become more significant in the next months and years. To begin though, we will need to get a grasp on what it actually signifies. So first, get subscribed to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Also press the bell icon for latest notifications. One concern involves the contribution that we provide to society. As a result of the fact that AI technology can now execute tasks that have historically been carried out by people, certain jobs have been automated. This shift may result in the elimination of jobs or modifications to the requirements of existing jobs. AI-powered systems are now capable of handling a variety of tasks, including, for example, data entry and customer assistance. Meanwhile, AI is also responsible for the creation of new work opportunities. It has the potential to enhance human talents, freeing us up to concentrate on more difficult and imaginative endeavors. But even positions that involve critical thinking, problem solving, and emotional intelligence are likely to be at risk in the future. These jobs are mostly unaffected by the effects of automation today. This will soon spark off a number of bigger worries about how we conduct our lives, and this is due to the rapid pace at which artificial intelligence is being developed. As a result, it is up to us to imagine a future for mankind in which a significant portion of the labor that is both tiresome and intellectual would be carried out on our behalf by artificial intelligence. For instance, if an AI system is developed one day that is capable of performing duties normally performed by humans, then what would we do for our jobs and even for our free time? The question, what exactly is leisure, needs to be posed. Or, what kind of work is satisfying? When robots become fully self-sufficient and take over all aspects of caregiving and charitable giving, what does this mean for the future of voluntary service? These are not questions that can be answered by technological means. They are concerns of ethics. How can we as humans comprehend our preferences, our aspirations or objectives for what we want the future to look like? What sort of society we want for our children and how these aspirations might change over the next 10 or 20 years? What are some ways that we might address these concerns? When it comes to comprehending our individual tastes, we have little choice but to look to such disciplines as philosophy, ethics, and faith. Philosophy and ethics are useful tools for figuring out what constitutes right and wrong. In the context of artificial intelligence, they have the ability to assist us in thinking about potential repercussions, fairness, and the impact on human and non-human well-being. We are able to ensure that AI is utilized in a manner that is responsible and in a way that is beneficial to society as a whole if we apply the appropriate principles. Faith, on the other hand, offers a moral framework that molds our comprehension of human values and the aim of life. For example, the religion of Islam encourages its followers to have compassion, understanding, and respect for the dignity of every individual human being. When we incorporate AI into our daily lives in a way that is congruent with these values, we assure that we will respect and maintain our core convictions while simultaneously utilizing technology for the benefit of humanity. As a result, it is imperative that AI systems be developed and implemented in a manner that is respectful of human fundamental rights. However, a number of experts believe that these rights may one day be in jeopardy because artificial intelligence I, may at some point in the future be capable of causing physical harm to people. Since artificial intelligence is essentially a system that efficiently achieves a given objective, whatever objective you ask for, it will come up with the best way to solve it, even if it goes against our interests. This is because AI is essentially a system that efficiently achieves a given purpose. Imagine, for instance, that somebody gives an AI agent the purpose to clean the oceans. It is possible that one option it will come up with is to get rid of the oxygen in order to attain the goal in the most efficient way possible. If the agent were autonomous, it would start doing what it has to accomplish as soon as possible. Collaborating in order to conceive of the future. 
This would entail governing authorities working together with technology businesses in a form of public-private partnership to achieve the proper balance between stimulating innovation and implementing responsible regulation. The goal of this would be to find the optimal way to promote innovation and implement responsible regulation. This would not only encourage creativity and forward movement, but it would also ensure that AI is developed and used in an ethical manner. In the same way that electrical appliances, automobiles, and medications are subjected to testing and regulation, artificial intelligence, AI, and technology businesses in general should be held to the same standards. To create guardrails and frameworks that are flexible and adaptive, it will be necessary for legislators, technological experts, and other stakeholders, including members of the general public, to work together. This will ensure our safety. Through public engagement, a wider range of voices may be heard and open discourse can take place and a better understanding of our worries, hopes, and expectations regarding AI can be achieved. And strategy that is inclusive ensures that both the potential benefits and threats of artificial intelligence are taken into account and that the impact of AI is in line with the core values and overall well-being of society as a whole. However, time is of the essence here. It's a riddle that has some parallels to the problem of climate change. When we first started working on this project a few years back, we believed that we had plenty of time and that the deadline was still quite a ways off. But at this point, we are aware that the time limit has in fact been exceeded, and it is imperative that we act as a group as soon as possible. Everyone has a part to play. As a result of this, we need to organize and start a discourse between all segments of society, including academic institutions, religious communities, computer scientists, and economics. Everyone needs to come together to imagine the future we'd like to see for ourselves and our children. And there must be a feeling of desperation. When it comes to artificial intelligence as it does when it comes to climate change, time is of the importance. If you find this video useful, then subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.